up guys it's Kat welcome back to my channel so today's video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to clean out a junk drawer and you know cleaning out a junk drawer with me obviously I'm going to take you through the process of me cleaning out mine because this bedside table that I have I'll show you in a sec has gotten a tad cluttered <laughs> we're gonna clean it today so whether you have a junk drawer that you want to declutter organize and clean along with me or you want to watch this video to get some motivation or some inspiration however you want to do it I hope you enjoy and we're just gonna get into it okay so although I don't want to step one I have to show you what we're working with so this bottom drawer kind of just became a book storage for me I don't know how that happened but I have so many books like random things that I don't always read but like I don't want to get rid of I really need a bookshelf to be honest but until I get that this has kind of become my book drawer and then in here oh gosh you could see it's it's a little ridiculous so I have that little shelf which I love oh by the way I should have said this before this nightstand is from Ikea it's the hems I'm not sure how you pronounce it but I'll have it shown on the screen right here and I'll have it linked in the description my dresser is from the same line at Ikea but just a little quick tip something that Tim did when he put this together for me is you know how when you have Ikea furniture they have those little wooden like dowels that you stick in to kind of place it together before he would stick it in he put a glob of wood glue on there and that way it sticks so much better this is so much more sturdy than it would be he did the same thing for my dresser if you're ever putting together a furniture like that from Ikea I highly recommend you using wood glue in the little dowels when you're putting it together. Okay, back to the drawer. So I actually have more books in here and then just a whole bunch of random things that we'll have to go through. Aren't these cute? My sister gave me them. They're little llama stuff. Something that I really like about this, which is with most dressers, is you can just pull it out. Oh gosh. So it'll be way easier to go through everything when we have it out of this area. Okay, so once I have all of the drawers out of the nightstand, I'm just gonna move it out of the way. That way I can vacuum behind there. Obviously, if you're doing like a kitchen junk drawer or something like that, you may not have to move anything out of the way. But since this nightstand isn't too big, I wanted to move it so that I could make sure there was no dust behind it. And yes, I'm aware I have to repaint the trim. Ignore that. Okay, so now that we got behind the nightstand all vacuumed up, I feel a lot more ready to go through these these bins, not bins, whatever, drawers. This is a fun angle. So step three is we are going to do our initial sorting. So that means you just look at the item and you immediately think, is it something I'm throwing out? Is it something I'm keeping in this drawer? Or is it something that I need to put somewhere else? Now that I think about it, I should just bring a little garbage can over here so that I don't have to like make a pile of garbage on the carpet. Okay, got one. If you're dealing with a more packed junk drawer and there are items in there that you're contemplating if you should keep or give away, then here are five questions to ask yourself that I find really help when I'm trying to declutter any space. When's the last time that I used it? Did I even know that I had it? How much room does it take up? If I give it away and then I need it again, how much will it cost to rebuy? And this is my favorite. If I didn't have this item and saw it in the store, would I buy it? And I think asking yourself questions like this when decluttering a space are super important because it's so easy to fall into that. It's just one more thing. I'll just keep it. You know, I may need it one day. So in the spirit of decluttering and saving space, I highly recommend you take these five questions seriously when you ask yourself them about every item that you're going through. tripod as a ball okay we have everything out here in front of me there's so much stuff these are the things that i want to keep within these two drawers that's obviously garbage and then over here are all the things that don't belong in my nightstand so as you can see we have already decluttered so much from this area not that i'm getting rid of these things they just don't belong in my nightstand <laughs> Okay, so these are the things that are gonna be going into my office. These glasses, actually, one of the little screws on the camera that I'm using right now, actually, fell off. And Tim said that if I get these little glasses, like reading glasses from the Dollar Tree, he might be able to take the screws out. These little screws right there, he was like, we might be able to use those to fix your camera. So hopefully that will work. So that's why I have those glasses and I'm putting them in my office. Can you focus, please? Thank you. 
And then these are just some different books that I'll probably, I wanna find a place for in my office. I don't, wouldn't really read any of these before bed, so I don't wanna have these in my nightstand. This, I don't know why it was in my nightstand from last Christmas still, but this will go in my Christmas decor box. Then just some pens. These are cute little cards that Tim had given me in the past. And then these are just things I'm gonna store in my bathroom closet. I do actually recommend keeping some makeup wipe removers in your nightstand. This is just the only pack that I have, and I typically would use them in the bathroom. So I'm gonna store this one in there. But I do wanna get a second pack to keep in my nightstand. That way, if you ever have a night where you just crawl into bed and then you're like, oh shoot, I didn't take my makeup off. It's super easy to just grab one from your makeup, from your nightstand, I can't talk, <laughs> and take your makeup off. Even though you won't be washing your face, it's still so much better for your skin if you take your makeup off, so. I like to do that, but obviously this one isn't gonna go in there. And then I don't even know how all these other random things ended up in there, but that's all gonna go in my bathroom closet. And then we're gonna go through this after. So now I'm putting away all of the things in my move to another room pile, but I highly suggest if you did have a donate pile, don't wait, put that into a box or a bag and then place it by your front door or your car. That way next time you leave, you don't forget to take it to a donation center. And then of course, one of my favorite steps is cleaning the drawers out. So first I'm using this little handheld vacuum, which I am obsessed with. I got this off of Amazon, not sponsored. I bought it myself. I did a ton of research to find one that I liked. So I will have it linked in the description if you're looking for a little portable handheld vacuum. And then I'm using my Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner in a festive apple cider to disinfect infect and wipe down the drawers. Obviously the next step is to go through everything that I want to keep in my nightstand and then we'll just kind of organize it in there. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't know why I put this in my keep in my nightstand drawer. This is actually my journal from middle school i have another one from high school for a little while ago i was gonna do like a reading my old diary from middle school and high school video i feel like i would definitely not do it on youtube i feel like i would do it on instagram so follow me on instagram at it's katherine may if you want to find out when i post that <laughs> but this is actually gonna go in my office so i'll put this over there so i can move that later <laughs> A little tip I have, I got this pill organizer from the Dollar Tree and I feel like I never would have thought to use a pill organizer, but organizing your vitamins in them is an awesome way to ensure that you're taking all of your vitamins every day. Instead of having to open up this and then open up this, I just look at the day and it's more like exciting because I know I'm almost like checking off that day by taking out the vitamins from it. And so I just grab it from here. And if you're curious, this is biotin. I love these. I genuinely feel like they have made my nails grow so much faster. I will let, I get this off of Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description if you want. And then these I haven't used as often, but I've heard good things. They're the Sundown Naturals Multi Plus Daily Immune Support. So these are just two little vitamins that I like to take. And I find that if you stick it in here, it's super helpful. Let me know in the comments if you are currently just watching this and chilling, or if you're watching this while cleaning out your own junk drawer. And the time has come to put everything back in the drawers. So I got these two little drawer organizers from the Dollar Tree. I highly, highly recommend checking them out. They have so many different organizing containers and so many different shapes and sizes. So I just used these and I kind of played around to get everything where I wanted it. And then you'll notice, especially with these books, you'll see I do switch up the way that I organize them a couple times. And I think it's important when you are organizing a space is to be patient with yourself and let yourself mess it around, move it, you know, this way, that way, until you get it to be how you really like. And then before I put the drawers back in the nightstand, I'm just wiping that down as well, just to make sure that there's no dust building up. Are you tired from all the cleaning that you did? Are you tired from the nap you were taking while mommy was cleaning? Is that why you're tired? Okay, so the next step, we are going to remove everything from the tonight stand so that we can actually clean it off. Thank you. 
And something super... Do you hear? She hears another doggy outside, so she thinks that making these noises is a good idea. What are you trying to say? You hear the other doggy outside? Anyways, one of the things that I love about this lamp is that it has a little USB port right here. So I just plug my phone charger in there and it's right next to my bed at all times. Isn't that so nice? I honestly do really enjoy organization projects, but of course, like I'm sure a lot of y'all, my favorite part has to be at the end when you look through it and it just looks so neat and organized. And then a few days later, you come back to that space, you open it up and it's like, oh yay, I organized it. <laughs> Also, I highly recommend if you do get this nightstand from Ikea to get the glass top with it. You can put drinks next to your bed without being afraid that it's gonna ruin it, so A+. Plus. If you watch until this part, comment. I don't know what Kelly's running to, but anyways, if you watch until this part, sorry, my camera died, so I had to change the battery, but if you watch until this part, let me know in the comments whether you prefer to declutter, organize, or clean more. What's like your favorite out of those three? I will have my entire Clean With Me playlist linked above me. I have so many new, recent Clean With Me videos, so I would love if you check them out, if you wanted to continue watching them while you clean, and I think that's about it. So I love y'all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video.